we started developing this app, our goal was to extract all the data related to the quiz and move it into the web platform so that a teacher could change it without having to change the app itself. Have we accomplished this goal? Well, we have moved all the question data, the answers, and the names of the files relating to the images. But right now, the images themselves are still stored inside the app. Right here, we see in the media drawer, all four of the pictures are there. And if we were to delete these from the app, the app would no longer work. But we don't want these pictures stored in the app. We want them stored in a web database so that the teacher can change them. So one of the enhancements we're going to make right now is we're going to remove these pictures from here and we're going to move them to a database. Ideally, we'd like to put it in the same database that contains all of our other information for the app, but we have a problem. Even though Firebase has a recent update that allows it to handle pictures in native format, the interface that exists right now between App Inventor 2 and Firebase do not allow App Inventor 2 to read and write picture files to this database that easily. So what we're going to do is something slightly different. We're going to take each of the images and we're going to download them to our computer and upload them to an image server. We're going to use tinypic.com as our image server for this application. Then we're going to take the URLs associated with each of those pictures and we're going to put those picture URLs inside the database. That way, if a teacher ever wanted to change one of the pictures, she could change it directly in the database without having to go inside the app. So let's have a look at how this is done. So the first step will be to go to the media drawer and download these four images into our PC. So all I, to do that, all I do is click on each of these images in turn and click this download my computer. And now you can see that these four images have been downloaded to the downloads folder of my PC. Here I am at tinypic.com, which we are going to use as our image server. I already have a free account established on tinypic.com, but if you do not, you will need to create one for this application. After uh, signing into the app, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the four images that we had created previously and upload them into tinypic.com. Here are the four pictures now that have been uploaded into this image server. And what we're going to do now is click on each of these and we're going to locate the URL that can be used for uh, doing uh, layouts inside of a web page. Uh, this one looks good. And we're going to embed these into our Firebase database so that we can access these files from the database. I've gone ahead and deleted the old image tab that was here in the database before and we're going to recreate it now but instead of using the short file names that were here before that allowed us to access the files internally from App Inventor 2 I am now going to paste in the URLs from our image server that allow us to access each of the files from the web. Okay, I've added the first one, and what I'm going to do now is pause this tutorial while I add the other three. Okay, I've gone ahead now and added all four pictures. Now let's re return to our app and rerun it to see if we can access the pictures directly from the web. Now if we've done everything correctly, we should not need to ch make any changes to the app itself because previously while we were loading the images locally, now we're simply going to be loading them using a URL. In fact, just to make sure that's actually working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to delete all four of these images to make sure that the images are loading from the web instead of locally. And hopefully the app will still work. Okay, let's uh, restart the app and see if uh, it's still working. Here it is on the emulator and we see that there's no discernible difference as the images are still loading, except this time they're obviously loading from the web. So it looks like everything is working now, but before we leave, 
One word of caution regarding tinypic.com, it is a free image server. And whenever there's something that is for free, there are always restrictions. For tinypic, for example, if your image is not touched at least once every 90 days, tinypic will remove the image. Therefore, if you want a truly permanent place to store your images, you will have to pay for your own image server.